dawn, there was a fire. And you were trapped. And you died. These ashes are all that's left of you. That's not true. It is true. You were burned alive. Why are you lying to me? I'm Dad? not lying. I know this must be scary, but no. I brought you back. No. Everything I've done is because I love you so much. Dawn, Dawn, Dawn! The sun will rise. I sat with you. Again tomorrow is nothing new. You're the one yeah, you have to be. You were made for me My love is deep It's blind and true I will do anything for you You're the only fish inside my sea Yeah, you were made for me Are you up? I am now. I made your favorite. <sighs> oh. What did I do to deserve this? Just for you being you. <gasps> mm, so good. So there's something I need to ask you. Give me a minute. Where are you going? I gotta pee, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. Can't you hold it? I need you to hold a thought. Not this one. I'm coming back, I promise. Dawn, I, I know that you believe in destiny. I think we have control, and that's what makes us so perfect together. I can't hear you. Can I just come in? If it can't wait. It can't. OK. Dawn, yeah. I want us to start the rest of our lives together right now. I love you more than life itself. <sighs> Will you marry me? Not another woman would say yes to you right now. It's a good thing I'm asking you. So, how do you propose? Sure. It was spontaneous and intimate. It was definitely intimate. And sweet. And creepy. Oh. <laughs> you saying my fiance's creepy? He's a little creepy. Come on. <laughs> he 
romantic gesture can be either sweet or creepy. It just depends on how you feel about the guy who's doing it. Think about it. A heartfelt poem, flowers on your doorstep, a uh, foot rub. I don't want anyone touching my feet. OK, so it wasn't my dream proposal. He didn't bring me into a bouncy house. Your dream proposal's in a bouncy house? Yeah. He brings me inside, and he says, when I'm with you, I'm walking on air. You're right. If the wrong guy brought me into a bouncy house, that would freak the living shit out of me. <laughs> like an artist molds a vase, we could shape undifferentiated embryonic cells into cartilage and skin and brain tissue. We could treat diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. We could replace limbs and organs. I know people hear cloning and think it devalues life, but no. The reason to do this is because we hold life in such high regard. Any questions? No? Ah, I swear college is the only business where the customer tries to get as little as possible for their money. Excuse me, Professor Slow? Yes. I love your class. Well, you know what they say, if you could reach just one student, you should probably stick to research. Uh, your work with somatic cell nuclear transplantation, it's why it came to Hanover. Really? Totally. You wouldn't happen to need a lab assistant. I'd do anything. Take out the trash, clean the beakers, make coffee. Thank you. But I have everyone I need. Don, do you take Adam to have and to hold in sickness and in health till death you part? I do. Adam, do you take Don to have and to hold in sickness and in health till death do you part? This is so morbid. I know. But what if something happened to me? The last thing I want is money. Don, if I'm not around to take care of you anymore, I want to be able to still take care of you. You do? I do. I love you, love you, love I you. I love you, too. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. So would you like to purchase the term, the whole, or universal? All I know is if anything happens to me, this one's going to need a lot more help than I will. Well, then we'll have to make sure we take care of him, too. You just got to go with the flow. If you force it, it all falls apart. That's what's so great about working with glass. If you try it a million times, you could never make two pieces the exact same. I was talking about being married. You're hungry because I'm cooking you dinner. Yeah, what you making? Your favorite. Oh, I love my favorite. Well, I love you. <laughs> what time do you want me home? Professor Slope? Yes. You married to a Dawn Slope? I am. It's been an accident. We rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering 
produces endurance. And endurance produces character. And character produces hope. And hope will never put us to shame. And now we're gonna have a few words from Don's husband, Adam. The first time I saw her was at an art fair. She was hidden behind a row of vases. But in the little space between, I caught a glimpse of this <laughs> incredible, this perfect smile. I couldn't get it out of my mind. For weeks, all I thought about was this smile. So I went back, and there she was, in the same spot, hidden behind a vase. So I bought the one that was blocking my view. Adam, I am so sorry for your loss. This is it. I know. One minute you're here, and the next, poof, you're gone. I meant the food. You think they'd at least put out some cold cuts? Donna was a vegetarian. She wasn't in high school. You knew her in high school? We went to prom together. She was the one that got away. I'm her best friend. I mean, I was. Just because you can no longer touch her. That does not mean you can no longer feel her. Poor guy. I know exactly how he feels. I can't believe it. I know. No, everyone consoles the husband, but nobody thinks to console me. I think it's way harder to lose a best friend than a spouse. Sylvia Plath said that dying is an art. And Kafka said the meaning of life is that it stops. So. <laughs> I just wish I could say goodbye to her. We all do. Well, if you're patient, you can say hello to her in heaven. I'd like to believe that. Then believe it. Hey, it's me. I'm busy playing with fire.
I, I don't want the money. Why not? You wouldn't understand. You think if you fill out the form, it's accepting that she's gone. It's very common. You're in denial. I'm not in denial. Okay, we've transitioned to anger. It's progress. growth rate. Let's say we have a patient with acute liver failure. How do we grow a new, fully developed liver in, I don't know, three, four months? Yes? In fact, the tissue with Werner syndrome. Emma, is it? Yes. Would you still like to be my lab assistant? More than anything. Class dismissed. We have to shorten the telomeres. Very good. And then stimulate the endocrine system. Excellent, Emma. And then we should increase the somatotropin level. All while simultaneously manipulating her thyroid, parathyroid, and ovaries. Her uh, ovaries? OK. Before we get started, there's something you need to know. The work that we're going to be doing is, yeah, how shall I put this, ethically ambiguous. I don't have a problem with that. No? On the road to progress. Ethics are like broken glass. Great. Let's get to work. Professor Slope? You're not thinking what I think you're thinking. My wife died way too soon. Professor Slope, this isn't ethically ambiguous. This is completely unethical and absolutely immoral and not to mention totally illegal. Professor, your wife? She's gone. No. Not completely. Completely? Excuse me. You're gonna lose your job. Your credibility, you're gonna become a pariah. I don't care what happens to me, but you...
You should go. Professor. Just go. We have to make sure she has enough protein. It's in the medicine cabinet. Got it. What's euthanies? That's what we use when an experiment doesn't work. You have to use it a lot? Just grab the other bottle. Thank you. Don't you think you sped her up a little bit too much? Why? Growing pains are torture. It's like a medieval rack, except she's stretching from the inside. You know, it would be great if you just stopped talking. she can't understand you. You're gonna have to teach her everything. How to walk, talk, tie her shoes. No. Go to the bathroom. I know. Do you? Just get the door. You didn't normalize her growth, did you? I didn't think about that. You didn't think about that? You speed her up, obviously you're gonna have to slow her back down. We were supposed to grow old together. Should I go get the euthanies? No. Just let it happen naturally. Naturally? She's not suffering anymore. What do we do with her? She was a glass blower. It's how she died. It'll get easier with time. What if I don't want it to? I think I figured out a way to slow it down. We should test it first. Why don't you do it? Really? Sure. You took the sample from the clone? Yeah. You can't clone a clone from a clone. It's too unstable. I didn't know. It's okay. It's how we learn.
Did it work? No. It's like making pancakes. People are afraid Colony will devalue life. What? Nothing. It's just figure out what we're doing wrong. You know, besides the obvious. Got a red flag here. Can you not shell it? College professor purchases a $1 million term life on his wife. Artist, low income. A few weeks later, she dies. And this is the best part. It's in a fire. Are we gonna have to pay? Over my dead body. Remember the growing pains. You can't just make her into an adult immediately. I can't wait 18 years. Well, we're gonna have to find a middle ground then. How about we make her fully grown in three months? Hey, Don, look at this. We're home. this Don. no Adam Don.
just fell out. It's completely normal. Does it happen to you? No. Why not? Because I'm a, a man and, and you're a woman. It is my job to protect you. The world is a very dangerous place. I wouldn't want anything to hurt you. <laughs> there. You see how pretty you look? Are you attracted to her? I love her. That's not what I asked. No. But it has nothing to do with her teeth. <laughs> well, that's actually a good thing. Why is that a good thing? Think about it. H how could it possibly be a good thing? How's Adam? Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him in a few months. I just hope he's okay. I don't want him. But you love pancakes. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm sick of them. Just eat the pancakes. No! Then go to your room. Fine. And don't forget to brush your teeth. She's not my wife. She's my daughter. Congratulations, Daddy. Thank you. What do you expect? You raised her, you fed her, you taught her everything she knows. So I'm actually having a normal, appropriate reaction. Yeah, to an abnormal, inappropriate situation. Thank you. Don't you think we should call first? I think it'll all be a very pleasant surprise. I think we should call. If we call, he'll just say he's fine and that he's busy and that we shouldn't come over. That's why we should call. That's why we shouldn't call. upset with you. Sorry, I hate pancakes. It's okay. Who's she? I thought it was you. I thought so too, but it's not. Why do you say that? Because we have different smiles. Dawn, there's something that I need to give you. What's that? It's medicine. What's medicine? It's good for you. How can that be good for me? Trust me, it is. Well, you're gonna hurt. Just for a second, and then I'll go away, I promise. Like when you pierce my ears? Exactly. Okay. Ready? Oh. Okay. That's it. Um, yeah. what's wrong with me? Nothing. You're lying. Why do you say that? Because I bleed and my teeth fall out and I keep getting bigger and bigger and you stay the exact same size. It'll be easier if I show you. Got the soup? I got the soup. Here. His car is here. I told you we should have called. Adam! I'm just going to check in the back. Dawn. There was a fire. And you were trapped. That's not true. Watch out for the camellias. Rebecca, what's the matter? What's the matter? Honey, 
Oh, please, please, please take me home now. Okay, okay. What, what happened? Honey! I know this must be scary, but I brought you back. No. Everything I've done is because I love you so much. Dawn, 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 Dawn! What do you want me to do with the soup? I don't give a goddamn what you do with the soup. All right. Hell, take me home. Okay. Tell me, what happened? And Adam, do you take Dawn to have and to hold in sickness and in health till death do you part? husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present you Dr. and Mrs. Slope. May God bless you. The most basic method of scientific problem solving is trial and error. Any questions? Dawn. I'm not Dawn. Any dreams? Yeah, I, I had a dream where I cloned my wife. Okay, this is the bargaining phase. Great, tell me what happened. In the dream? Yes, in the dream. She wasn't the same. Well, your subconscious is smart enough to know that genetics is just a small part of what makes us who we are. And what's the other part? Our experiences. The only way she'd be the same person is if you raised her exactly the same way her parents did. How old was she when she got braces? 13. I never thought you needed them. She'd have been beautiful either way. I agree. When was this? That's when she moved away from home. I thought that would be the toughest day of my life. Children aren't supposed to die before their parents. It's against nature. She's in a better place now. Oh, you keep saying that, but I'm not buying it, excuse me. She's having a rough time. Yeah, we all are. I guess God just couldn't wait to have her back. What if I told you we could have her back? That's something I can't even think about. It's something I can't stop thinking about. Harold, I could bring her back. I could clone her. If you and Rebecca raised her the exact same way, we can have her back. And she's a vegetarian. Pancakes are her favorite. You a vegetarian? What difference does that make? Just asking. Yes? Because of her. No, it's just easier. I mean, if a guy told me I couldn't have lobster... She never said that I couldn't have lo can, can we get back to work? Is that what you're calling this? Her brain develops at the same rate as her growth so she learns extremely fast so it's very important that you make every experience as authentic as possible for her you want me to raise her well clearly i can't do no it. you just asked me to write the list emma uh, this it's is a too much. few months it's too much i'm sorry you're right you're right you're right i'm sorry i'm sorry it's too much Better be getting extra credit for this. <laughs> Dear Lord, what am I doing? He needs to take a sabbatical. Oh, it's time to go. 
it off, okay? No. He needs to get drunk, like sorority girl drunk. Open wide. He needs to get laid. This is Adam. Hi. Hi. Did you give her a nose ring? She did it herself. She's all yours now. Please don't go. I have to. You're gonna live here now. I don't want to live here. I want to live with you. You can't. Why? You don't want me anymore? It's it's not that I don't want you. A little help here, please. Because why don't you come inside? You're gonna love it here, I promise. No, no, no. It's okay. No. This is where you're supposed to be. Here. It's all right. No, no, no. It's all right. I, 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 come on inside. No. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. It's okay. No. I promise, this will only hurt for a minute. It won't last forever. Okay. And why don't we get rid of that nose ring too, all right? I made you your favorite. It's not my favorite. Trust me, it's your favorite. How do you know? Because I know you better than you know yourself. If you don't let her be herself, she won't be. Right. Careful, it's hot. Okay. And, and dangerous. Okay. I, I don't want it to blow up in your face. Hey, I get it. I would just hate for you to hurt yourself. Then why are you making me do this? Like... An artist molds a vase, we could shape undifferentiated embryonic cells into skin, cartilage, blood tissue. We could treat diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. We could replace limbs and body parts. I know people hear cloning and think, oh, it devalues life. But no, the reason to do this is because we hold life in such high regard. Stop it. You're up? I am now. Dawn, I know that you believe in destiny. And I think that... What, what's destiny? Destiny is uh, something that's bigger than you and just takes control and makes something happen. Yeah, I totally believe in that. So, I think... Dawn. Give me a minute. This kind of can't wait. Who is she? That's you. No, no, it's not. You don't treat me like that. No, don't, 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 don't touch it. That's broken glass. It's very dangerous. You could, you could really hurt yourself, and you could die. I don't care. Dawn, don't say that. Come here. Sit down. Please. There's something I need to tell you. I love you more than life itself. You are the most important thing in the world to me. We belong together. Marry me. No. I'm not gonna waste my life away for someone I didn't even want in the first place. So you're saying she can't move back in with you? Absolutely not. Well, she can't stay here. I'm not taking her. Oh, please, just take her back. No! I just thought because you're the one who raised her. You can't put that on me. What was that? Dawn? Dawn? Dawn, are you in there? 
Dawn, open the door. Here, let me try. Hey, Dawn. Hey, honey, I'm gonna come in, okay? <gasps> oh my God. so sorry. That's okay. But I should probably get someone else to raise the next one. The next one? Hey, Camille. What are you doing here? How would you like your best friend back? That's not funny. It's not a joke. You know, I always thought you were a little weird. Maybe even a little creepy, but Dawn loved you. And you loved her, so I had to forgive you. But if this is your idea of a joke, I swear to God I will rip your dick off. This is a baby. She'll be fully grown in four months. I will rip your dick right off. If you do everything on this list, it'll be Dawn. Okay, if I do this, you have to promise me something. Anything. When you propose to her, can you do it like a normal human being? Take her to a bouncy house and tell her, when I'm with you, I'm walking on air. Everything has to be the exact same, or it won't be her. Well, just so you know, you're missing something pretty major here. What? I saved myself And waited for you on the shore Let's get out of here. Didn't think you'd hold your breath that long. Yesterday was Hello. We have a little problem. doesn't belong to you. So what, do you think she belongs to you? As a matter of fact, I do. Dawn! Someone wants to see you. Yeah. He thinks you belong to him. I belong to you, baby. Send her to prom? What the fuck was I thinking? Well, if she's anything like herself, she won't stay with him. And if she stays with him, then she's not like herself. You're just gonna have to wait and see. <laughs> Why are you doing this to yourself? Because... I love her. Okay, then... Why are you doing this to her? Let's just go over the questions for the test tomorrow, all right? Okay. Question one. What is the difference between therapeutic cloning and reproductive cloning? Professor Slope, you have to wait. I can't. There can't be two different versions of the same person. 
Why? Well, what if they see each other? Do you have any idea how upsetting that'd be? I don't. My pen died. That sucks. Do you have another one? I only have one. Hey. What is going on here? Nothing. Nothing. Don't give me nothing. You cheated. I trusted you, and you cheated. My pen died. You know she's not your wife, right? Yes, she is. I'm not talking about Dawn right now. I'm talking about the poor girl that you just yelled at in class. Professor Slope, you have to control yourself. You have no idea what it's like to lose someone you love. Yes, I do. I know exactly what it's like. I'm sorry, I got so upset. <laughs> Want to tell me what happened? My dad needed a heart transplant. But he was really low on the list. So every night before bed, I'd pray for motorcycle accidents and car crashes. I guess for my dad to live, 157 people with type A blood had to die. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Because of your work, people like my dad don't have to die anymore. What about you? Your parents, are they still alive? I grew up in an orphanage. Sometimes I think about it. My dad didn't die. Who knows what I'd be doing? Probably majoring in French poetry or fashion design. <laughs> Losing someone you love changes you. I'm getting her back. Do you know the difference between the brain activity of someone in love and someone with extreme OCD? What? Nothing. Look, man, I'm going to call the cops. Go ahead. Call them. They'll just take her away. They'll send her to a lab. They'll run a bunch of tests. Is that what you want? No. Do you see how fast? She's aging, she is sick. Is it that bad? Yeah, it's that bad. But I can help her. You don't eat meat. I don't? No. Why not? Because it's murder. You can't kill something that's already dead. Can we please just tell her what you told me? Yeah, fine. Don't. Very soon, you're going to die. Because I eat meat? No, sweetie. Not because you eat meat. You have a disease called Werner's Syndrome. It makes you age faster than normal people, but I am a very special doctor and I could fix it. If you come with me, you could live a long and happy life. If I only have a minute, I'd rather spend it with you. Oh, baby. <sighs> You have to go with him. No. Yes. You're sick and you need to get better. If that means me losing you. Oh, oh. baby, I don't want to leave you. Please, can you help us? Sure. What are you doing? Taking care of her.
So I need to warn you, there is a chance this may not work. What kind of a chance? Oh, 50-50. 50-50? It's like a coin flip, baby. Oh. Look, there's a really good chance that we're going to be spending a long time together. Is it going to hurt? Just for a second. And then it'll go away. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Is she all right? I'm sorry for your loss. What did you do? She was already dead. No, she wasn't. You're losing control. You said there couldn't be more than one. So you killed her? Well, what was I supposed to do? Just let, let her go? This is insanity. Look at you. You're doing the same thing over and over and over. No, I'm not. I am changing her environment. It's different every time. Genetics are the control. Upbringing is the variable. You could do this a million times, and it's not going to bring her back. Your wife? She's gone. Why can't you see? This isn't meant to be. I don't believe that. You're not going to stop. You're never going to stop, are you? Emma, please, let's get back to work. Work? I would love to get back to work. Work saves thousands, millions of lives. But I don't care about them. Right. I can't do this anymore. You know, Maybe I'm the crazy one. Because I had pity for Dawn, or maybe I was just jealous. But I felt bad for you. Because I thought you were this great guy who just loved his wife so much. And I thought, God, it'd be so nice if someone could love me like that. But that great guy he's gone too and I'm just this pile of broken glass It was selfish. I'm sorry I dragged you into it. Don't be. Just getting to have a little more time with her, to me, it was worth it. Yes, I know that you marry, but half of them will end in the divorce. And I can be patient. As your relationship runs its course And you can call me the crowbar You need to explore your sexuality It is good It is healthy A moment of weakness, and now I'm responsible for another human being's life, and I did not even get to have sex. Thank you. You're welcome. It would be a shame if you don't feel the same. It would be a shame what are you doing? You don't love me too. <clears throat> Nothing.
So even at the peak of the Underground Railroad, less than 1,000 slaves were able to escape per year. Just let me know if you see anyone that you want. I will, thanks. It's mine. Get your hands off! It's mine! It's mine! Stop it! No! Stop it! You stop it! You stop it! You stop it! You stop it! I want him. Him? Him. I have to warn you. He's a very special boy. Yes, he is. It's mine! It's mine! It's mine! It's mine. It's Cool. Come on, we gotta get you home. Come on. Professor Slope! Professor Slope, we need to talk. Oh, hi, mister. What's your name? You don't remember me, do you, Professor Slope? Who's Professor Slope? Look, I don't know what kind of game you're playing, but I... I really like games. Clearly. We have to go. Bye. Sorry. Brace your... Okay, no, 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 no. work it's called a rough draft for a reason you can always go back and edit it as much as you want it's like what Hemingway said write drunk and edit sober so tonight I want you guys to get drunk you stick me with needles lock me in the house and now you have the gall to propose to me while I'm peeing Like an artist molds a vase, we could shape undifferentiated embryonic cells into cartilage, skin, brain tissue. We could treat diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. We could replace limbs and organs. I know people here cloning and think we're devaluing life, but no, the reason to do this is because we hold life in such high regard. Any questions? Professor Slope? No. I swear college is the only business where the customer tries to get as little as possible for the money. Class dismissed. Professor Slow. Yes? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Is it about the insurance money? Because I really don't care about the insurance money. Now he remembers me. I just didn't think it would be this hard. You're in depression. It's exactly how you're supposed to feel right now. Right. You realize your son-in-law took out a million dollar life insurance policy on your daughter? Just before she died. What are you suggesting? You tell me. Mr. Trout, do you believe in ghosts? Why do you ask? Well, I could have sworn that I saw her when we were there at their house, in the window. Is that right? Her spirit 
I'm afraid that it's trapped there. You sick son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I want to see her. Please. Please. Don is in heaven. Whatever he's made will not be your daughter. Where is she? She's gone. Gone? It didn't work. So, go do it again. I tried over and over and over again. Oh, God. Every time she came back a completely different human being, depressed, angry, spoiled, scared. Yeah, it sounds like Dawn to me, Adam. Please. It's wrong. Harold, we have a chance to get our little girl back and you don't want to take it? Well, we may all be going to hell. I think I found something that's going to get us out. So you have to do everything the exact same way you did it before, or else it won't be her. Oh, oh we will. <laughs> so just let me know when she's herself again. Oh, absolutely. Harold, something you want to say? Yeah. Thank you for giving yeah. us back our little girl. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, sweet. Yes, you recognize where you are, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's been four years I'm working this case. Mr. Trout, what are you doing in my house? Your mother-in-law tells me she saw a ghost. But she didn't really see a ghost, not did she? You faked your wife's death for the insurance money. Then you fall for that little assistant of yours. The wife gets jealous, threatens to come clean. So you kill her for real. I said she's already dead, no one would ever know. Perfect crime. That's not exactly... Save it for the judge. I've seen a lot of sick bastards in my life, but you... I think you should offer me a drink. You want a drink? I thought you'd never ask. I'm going to approve the claim. And you're going to give the money to me. Your freedom. For a cool million. You want the money? You could keep the money. Turns out he doesn't care about the money.
first light insurance. Yeah, this is Trout. Listen, I finished my investigation of the slope case, and everything's on the up and up. So time to move on. Right. Pleasure doing business with you. Wait. What? You wanted to toast? You know what? Forget it. You know, there's just one thing that for the life of me I can't figure out. And what's that? The little girls. They look just like your wife, but you didn't have any kids. Who are they? Do you really want to know? I'm dying. Officers, there's a, there's a guy over there. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's just kind of mumbling to himself. What you doing, buddy? I think oh. he's drunk. Found his wallet. Hi, I'm Adam. Remember, honey, you can come home whenever you want. Thanks. Okay? I love you. I love you, buddy. I love you. I can't believe you made that. I did, I did, I did. Do you have any idea how much I love you? You're in love with me? More than life itself. I'm sorry, Adam. I'm not in love with you. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Dawn, I know you better than you know yourself. How could you possibly? It'll be easier if I show you. Come on. This is the exact same. It is. Who made this? You made it. No, I didn't. You did. You made it in a previous life. What are you talking about? Dawn, you died, and I brought you back. No. Yes. Everything I've done, Dawn, I've done because I love no. you. Please. Dawn. Please, just get away. Dawn! Yeah. Who is that? That's Hugh. No, him. That's me. That's what I thought at first, but it's not. You're different. I want to go home. You are home. I keep thinking about all the things I could have done differently. You can't keep beating yourself up. I just, I can't live without her. Well, 
You can't live with her. You're right. I need to let her go. It's time to go home. D, you passed. We're done with your genetics lesson. Now. It's time for a little biology. Okay, come on. I think you should probably pick that up. Mm-mm, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, pick it up. Mm-hmm. Pick it up. Mm-mm. Pick it up. 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 What? Hi. It worked. She's the exact same. Congratulations. She doesn't love me. <laughs> Must be really hard for you. Well, what can you do? But the reason I called is I'm ready to get back to work. I, I, real, actual work. Good for you. I sure could use your help. I can't. Why not? I'm working on my thesis. Your thesis? Emma. Now where were we? Here. We were right here the whole time. To, you could only have one version of the same person. I never had the first one. Do you love him? Well, he's not you. I don't like biology. So what do we do with... you know who? <laughs> How would you like to meet the woman who was made for you? You know, they can't stay here forever if someone ever found them. We know. I, uh, I have something for you. Goodbye, Don. Bye. Remember what I told you? I do. Good. Here. Don't lose it. I won't. So what are you going to do now? I might stick around, get my postdoc. Wow, great. I could still be your assistant. <laughs> I don't want an assistant. <laughs> Come on, I'll do anything. I'll take out the trash, clean the beakers, make a coffee. You could do a hell of a lot more than that. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we can get back to work if you like. Are you hungry? How about we get something to eat first? See you again really soon. Love you, love you, love you. <laughs> oh. All in all, this is the third hardest day of my life. Hi, <laughs> Daddy. I love you, kiddo. Love you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye.
this works because this is the only lobster we have. Congratulations. Thanks. My love is deep, blind and true. I will do anything for you. You're the one, yeah, you have to be. You were made Dawn, for me. When I'm with you, I'm walking on air. You are one of a kind Just my luck that the stars align You're the only fish inside my sea Yeah, you were made for me There's nothing I won't say There's nothing I won't do There's nowhere I won't go If it means I get to be with you ooh, ooh. My day starts when you're away I live and die with each breath you take I've got to solve this mystery Why you were made for me You were made for You were made for You were made for You were made for, you were made for. I'm the arm and you're the sleep Yeah, you were made for judge and you're the plea yeah, you were made for me I'll keep fighting for you endlessly yeah you were made for me yeah you were made for me
But I will do these over 